Okay, y'all, so we back in the uh, day in the life of the garden. So in here, I got my little spray jug full of water. It's just about full of the, the water stops right there. I don't know if y'all can, y'all see the line moving. So it's pretty full. It's more than a liter in there. This is a particular BT that I use. Um, not a promotion for this. You don't have to use this particular BT. Use any BT you want. It's hard for me to find BT in the stores. So I actually have to um, buy it on Amazon. And I just want to show you how I mix this up real quick. It does give you instructions on how to mix it with the perfect measurements. And I'll let, okay, am I not? Hold on, y'all. Apparently, this is one of those childproof tops. Yeah, there we go. You got to press down and get it. So you can't just get it with one hand. Uh, it's got a little piece of cardboard in there at the top. Um, so when I do mine, let me show y'all. That's about how much I put. I don't measure. Um, I have made this so much to where... I don't let me screw that back down y'all I have made this so much to where I don't necessarily measure how much I put in there I think it's one ounce to I forget what it is I'm not gonna say cuz I'd probably be wrong um, screw you screw your lid back on your sprayer I got this at Lowe's this sprayer at Lowe's for like five or six dollars I wouldn't recommend you buy sprayers online for the simple fact that unless you just can't get the lows or whatever for the simple fact that I bought one online and this one was actually better quality from Lowe's for a cheaper price. The one I bought online was like 10. This was like 5 or 6 and this one lasted me. The other one is now broke. Um, but if you're wondering what you use BT for, it's for your brassica. Well, anything that might get some type of cal caterpillar on it that, that'll eat it down. So, so um, I have a lot of problem with that with my brassicas. So I want to pump this up, pressurize it. You can do this in just a regular spray bottle. You do not have to buy one of these. Um, a regular spray bottle would do you just fine. Um, but I have so many brassicas that um, I ain't got time. I really got this too full of water. That's why I'm having to pump it so much. You're not supposed to fill it over the line where it's at. And actually, you know what? I don't have a, I don't have a top screw on good. Y'all, I'm just... Like I said, life in the day of the gardener. Day of a gardener. It's just what you, that's what you deal with. Alright, there we go. Now we're cooking with fish grease. That's spraying out real good. A nice mist. So, you want to spray your plants real good. I do spray my tomatoes and stuff too, um, just in case they get hornworms. I'm not too super particular, and you can adjust the spray pattern. This mist is a bit much for me. Back that off so. So now you see it's more of a spray. That's more kind of what I want to do. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm aiming all at the ground. Camera angles, camera angles. But, um, but yeah, I just kind of spray, spray my stuff, and I'm gonna spray my little baby brassicas because I try to keep them from getting ate up. I'm gonna spray these tomatoes a little bit. I usually don't have one worm problem. I spray my tomatoes anyway. Let me show y'all how my peas is doing. So I got some peas coming up over here. They already got leaves on them. These peas ain't playing. Now these particular pea seeds are the peas that I saved from last year. So I'm glad to see they looking good. I'm going to spray them a little bit. This stuff won't hurt your plants. You can spray this any time of year. BT is not oil based. But I do want to mention this because I've seen people making this mistake. 
Do not put soap in with your BT. I'm going to tell you why. If you put soap in with this BT, this BT is a spore or a, um, it's a type of a bacteria or a microorganism, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's a living type biological uh, way to treat your plant for any type of worms. When, when the worms eat those spores, it gets in a digestive system and they cannot digest what they're eating. So, um, so yeah, you don't want to put soap in there because soap does what? It kills things like spores and microorganisms. So you don't want to spray. You don't want to mix soap in because you're basically defeating the purpose. And you wonder why you keep having worms. It's because you're putting uh, soap in with your BT. So. Lord have mercy to children. So yeah, I'm just gonna spray all my little brassicas. Um, I really don't have no worms and stuff. Get on my peppers, so I ain't gotta worry about that. I'm gonna come over here. Um, I got quite a few brassicas down in this bed, so I'm, I am gonna spray them. Cause it's getting cool, but. It ain't cold enough to where the worms are completely gone. So yeah, these is just my little, look at that poke salad coming up right there. These is just my little, um, my little chores I do. I don't do the same stuff every day, but I just want to kind of take y'all along with what I do. For those of y'all that might be new to gardening, or you're thinking about getting into gardening, maybe you want to know, hey, what's going on? My neighbors. Maybe you want to know how it is to be gardening and the stuff you have to do or potentially might have to do. Um, I know y'all looking at these green plants saying they're a sad sight, but trust me, they looked way worse than this before. They look way better. Now, yeah, I got some harlequin bugs, and I'm going to show you the damage. See them white spots? Some kind of holy kind of white spots that's the damage that the harlequin bugs actually do now this bt is not going to do anything for the harlequin bugs i got something else for them but we got to let we got to let the bt get sprayed on me preferably I sp i'm gonna spray this on first it's not a particular order that you have to do it in but I'm gonna spray this on first and then we're gonna come back with something else for the for the uh for the harlequin bugs. I swear I'm gonna learn how to film one of these days. I'm gonna learn how to film one of these days. So like I said, you just quickly go in here, spray your plants. Uh, watch your strawberries. Don't step on them and kill them. And y'all let me know if y'all want to see more of these videos. Uh, as to uh, what I be doing in the garden on the day to day. So that's that. Now, if you can see, I got about half of this left. I ain't going to let that go to waste. I'm going to leave it in here. And then when I need to reapply... It's already mixed up. So I'm going to set that down. And then let's see what else we got to do. I think I want to plant some seeds. Ain't no thank to it. We're going to plant some seeds. Okay, so stick with me.